What if I told you that one of nature's most successful empire builders weighs less than a gram and has been shaping Earth's ecosystems for over 100 million years? Meet the Ant Queen, a marvel of evolution that can live for decades, produce millions of offspring, and create complex societies rivaling our own cities and organization. With approximately 12,000 species identified globally, these remarkable insects have developed some of the most sophisticated social structures in the animal kingdom. But how does a queen's journey begin? It all starts with a dramatic aerial spectacle, the nuptial flight. During specific times of the year, triggered by precise environmental conditions like temperature, humidity, and wind patterns, young queens take to the skies in a synchronized dance of survival. This isn't just any flight, it's a carefully choreographed event that marks the beginning of a potentially decades-long reign. During these nuptial flights, queens mate with multiple males, a practice known as polyandry. This strategy isn't random, it's an evolutionary masterpiece that ensures genetic diversity within future colonies. By mating with several males, queens can store sperm from different partners in a specialized organ allowing them to fertilize eggs for the rest of their lives. This remarkable adaptation means a single mating flight provides enough genetic material to produce millions of offspring over several decades. The timing of these flights is crucial. Queens emerge when conditions are optimal, typically after rainfall when the air is humid and still. This synchronization isn't just about making mating easier, it's about survival. By emerging en masse, queens increase their chances of finding mates while reducing their individual risk of predation. Have you ever wondered what happens after this celestial romance? The young queen's next actions are crucial and mark one of the most vulnerable periods in her life. Upon landing, she immediately breaks off her wings, a dramatic gesture that marks her transition from princess to founding queen. This isn't just symbolic, it's a commitment to her future colony. Those wings, now useless, provide vital proteins that will sustain her during the challenging days ahead. In solitude, she begins the heroic task of establishing her colony. Using her powerful mandibles, she excavates a small chamber in the soil, which will become the birthplace of her empire. This founding chamber, barely larger than the queen herself, will protect her first brood. During this period, she relies entirely on her fat reserves, metabolizing her wing muscles and stored fat to produce her first eggs. These internal reserves are so efficient that some queens can survive for months without eating, dedicating all their energy to their first brood. What makes ant queens such successful colonizers? Their mastery lies in sophisticated resource management and adaptation strategies. Consider the remarkable behavior observed in black garden ants, where queens practice a form of resource recycling that might seem shocking to us. They consume infected larvae. This isn't just about waste management, it serves multiple critical functions. When a queen identifies an infected larva, she doesn't just remove it, this she consumes it, preventing disease spread while simultaneously reclaiming valuable nutrients. This behavior is particularly crucial during the founding stage, when resources are scarce. Research has shown that queens who engage in this behavior significantly increase their egg production, demonstrating the effectiveness of this seemingly harsh but evolutionarily brilliant strategy. Queens also possess specialized glands that produce antimicrobial substances. They use these natural antibiotics to maintain colony hygiene, regularly grooming themselves and their brood with these protective secretions. This sophisticated health management system helps ensure colony survival in environments teeming with potentially harmful microorganisms. How do queens maintain control over thousands of workers? The answer lies in their mastery of chemical communication. Queens are essentially walking chemical factories, producing a complex cocktail of pheromones that regulate every aspect of colony life. These chemical signals are so powerful that they can suppress the reproductive capabilities of worker ants, ensuring the queen remains the sole reproducer in the colony. This chemical control extends beyond reproduction. Through pheromones, queens coordinate foraging activities, 
regulate worker behavior, and maintain social harmony. They can signal their health status, reproductive capacity, and even influence how workers care for the brood. The sophistication of this chemical communication system is remarkable. Workers can detect subtle changes in the queen's pheromone profile, allowing them to respond quickly to their monarch's needs. As the colony grows, we witness one of the most fascinating transformations in the natural world. The queen transitions from a jack-of-all-trades founding mother to a specialized egg-laying machine. This transformation is triggered by the presence of her worker daughters, who gradually take over tasks like foraging, brood care, and nest maintenance. The numbers are staggering. A mature queen can lay hundreds, sometimes thousands, of eggs daily. In species like the army ant, queens can produce up to 300,000 eggs per month. The queen's body is perfectly adapted for this role. Her abdomen expands significantly, and her ovaries become highly developed. Some queens can live for several decades. The record holder is a carpenter ant queen who lived for 29 years in laboratory conditions. As colonies mature, queens begin producing new reproductive individuals, future queens and males. This timing isn't random. It's carefully coordinated with environmental conditions and colony size. A colony must reach a certain size and gather sufficient resources before it can support the production of new reproductive individuals. The production of new queens represents a significant investment for the colony. These future queens are larger than workers and require more resources to develop. They inherit not just their mother's genes, but also her chemical knowledge the ability to produce the precise pheromone cocktail needed to control their own future colonies. What happens when a colony loses its queen? Nature has evolved fascinating backup plans. In species like Harpidnathos saltator, workers can transform into gamergates, pseudo-queens that help maintain the colony. This transformation involves complex physiological changes, including the development of ovaries and the reduction of venom sacs. The selection of new reproductive individuals often involves fascinating dueling tournaments. Workers engage in ritual combat, striking each other with their antennae. The winners of these tournaments undergo physiological changes that allow them to lay eggs. This remarkable flexibility ensures colony survival, even after the loss of the original queen. From their dramatic beginnings in the sky to their role as ultimate colony managers. Ant queens represent one of nature's most successful evolutionary strategies. Their ability to build, maintain, and expand complex societies has helped ants dominate terrestrial ecosystems for millions of years. These tiny monarchs, through their mastery of chemical communication, resource management, and reproductive strategies, have created one of the most successful life forms on Earth. Next time you see an ant colony, remember, somewhere beneath your feet. A queen ant is orchestrating one of nature's most impressive feats of organization and survival, continuing a dynasty that has thrived since the age of dinosaurs. Want to learn more about these fascinating insects? Hit subscribe and let me know in the comments what aspect of ant queen life you found most surprising. Did you know about their sophisticated chemical communication or their remarkable resource management strategies? Share your thoughts below. And don't forget to share this video with anyone who's ever wondered how ant colonies work.